The Wolf's Brother by Carter Foster. I pretend I don't see him, staring at him through the scope of my great grandpa's 30 30 that was passed down to me by my father, sitting 30 feet up in a tree hoping he doesn't notice me. I'm watching him shapeshift from wolf back into human. I knew my brother was different, but not like this. People have been mysteriously disappearing and been found in my parents' backwoods. My parents have 100 acres of woods and fields, perfect for hunting and trapping all season long. That's what I grew up doing with my dad and brother. I loved waking up early with my brother John every morning to go hunting with him. That is until he ran away when we were only nine. There have there been, been wolf, wolf signs, signs in the area, area but we would have never, never thought, thought that, that wolf would take a full-grown full human, or, human or, or wolf would be my brother, that, be that, is. My brother that is. I was the first one to see him since he ran away six him. years ago. We're 15 now, since we're twins from Kentucky. I love the outdoors, kind of like a kid's dream life. Running trap lines every day after practice, hunting and fishing whenever I can. This time I was deer hunting. This isn't the first time I've seen him, but this is the scariest. Watching him shape shift at sunrise and hearing the core piece and scream and watching him shake around like he was having a seizure. Super freaky. He's killed a lot of people and I know he can't help it, but it worries me he'll do more harm to the city. I could shoot him, which would for sure kill him, or I could try to help him and get rid of his disease, or whatever you want to call it. I've also noticed the scarcity of animals in the woods and river. I used to see 10, 15 deer, but now I only see 4 or 5. I sat there and I watched him for an hour or so. It's super weird and freaky to think I lived with a monster for nine years of my life. I watched him go back to Wolf, again shaking, Caesar-like with a scream, darting off into the dark with the little light of the moon making him clear to see. After he left, I climbed down my stand and started the walk home. Just like every night, my dog Timmy greets me at the door with his hyperness and big slobbery kisses. I picked up his bone and tossed it into the living room where my dad fell asleep in his recliner watching the news. Mine must have gone to bed already, I think as I take my boots off and get ready for a shower. I get dressed and get into bed as me and Timmy will have a long day of running trap lines. Day 2 I woke up early this morning and started breakfast, eggs and toast. My mom and dad are already awake watching the news of their coffee. Good morning, son, my dad says. Good morning, mom. Good morning, dad, I say. Good morning, Freddy. My mom says, my real name is my Frederick name Anthony is Frederick Ridge, Anthony but Ridge, my friends but and family, call, friends me Freddy family call me Freddie for short. I eat my breakfast, I eat my breakfast, feed Timmy, and get ready for the day. I load up all of the gear we'll need onto the side-by-side, -side, call Timmy, and off we go to the river. We run lines till about 1 p.m., and then I hear noise in the bushes behind me, and Timmy goes crazy. Timmy slowly approaches the bushes, sniffing the ground. Hello? I say as I slowly raise my gun at the bushes just in case. I started to take small, slow steps toward the bushes, and then... Ah! My brother jumps out, grabs Timmy, and runs. I shot at him with every bullet I had, but, but only one had hit. There was a little blood splatter on the bush and some of Timmy's fur as I walked through the woods looking for my brother and Timmy. I hate my brother so much now. He was the only real friend I had since my brother left and then he takes away my best friend too. I have to get back at him somehow. I decide I try to kill him out of anger. I need some silver bullets most likely though. The closest gun store of silver bullets is two hours away so I'll be back around nine. I got the bullets and went to bed to wake up and go hunting for my brother. I get in the stand and sit and sit and sit all morning and see nothing. So I just go tonight. I go out back to the stand and wait and wait and wait some more. Finally, right after dark, I see him. I aim and put crosshairs right on his head and shoot. He drops dead. Starts shaking like he was transforming and he turns back into human. I walk up to him. John? Freddy?